Yo, what's on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Baba. In this video, I'll be showcasing you guys Nell and giving you guys some basic combos for her. Um, if you guys end up enjoying the video, like subscribe to the channel. My current goal is 10,000 subscribers. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so the first move is going to be Twitch Slash. This is a little bit of a running move. Um, this is really good for starting on a combo, and it does have a little bit of tech that you will need to learn if you're trying to master the character. Um, there's two different forms of it. So here's going to be the first one. So you actually land the Slash, and then that does guard break. Um, but there is a way to pretty much make it not guard break, which I don't know why you would ever want to do that. Um, but if you are trying to master the combo, I recommend watching the Infernatsu's video um, that he made. He goes into a little bit more detail. Um, then there's Sonita Parry. The only bad thing about this character, in my opinion, is the fact that it does have two parries in its um, base. Which you guys can kind of take for your own um, way. I feel like it's good in some ways, but also bad in other ways. But yeah, as you guys can see, it just parries. It does work on projectiles as well. Then here's going to be the other move, it's called the Flash Drive. This move is very good, it block breaks opponents. I believe almost all these moves block break, including Twitch Slash, um, as you guys can see right here. Let me get some mode. Uh, Twitch Slash will block break as well. You just have to boom, then it will guard break, then you can combo send or whatever. Um, and then yeah, the last move will be Cero Duble, which pretty much you can absorb any projectile or M1. I'll try to do it on this M1 right here. But yeah, as you guys see, I absorb it, and then it will actually turn into um, a Sarah that looks like this. You have to have a certain amount of mode, um, but yeah, looks like this, boom, launches them, pretty good. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you know, to actually do a lot of damage in this um, mode, you're pretty much going to have to rely on Flash Dive, because that is your only, like, really good move. Um, but it is a very, very good combo starter and things like that. I believe you can do flash dive into twitch slash um but yeah now we'll get into the mode because that's where this character mainly shines the base is really whatever um it has counters and that's pretty much it um but here's what the mode will look like then also inside this mode they do get unique m1s and m2s um, so the M1 string now goes only to three, which looks like this. So you do one, two, and then your third one will actually knock them back. Then this is what the M2 looks like. And you can combo send just with your M1 and M2. Um, if you just do two M1s into your M2, and then do three M1s, it will look like this. And then you can do like your one move. Um, maybe not instantly, but you can do your one move. Um, but yeah, anyways, talking about the one move, it is really only good if your character is against a wall or something like this. Um, because if they're not against the wall, as you guys see, this will look like against the wall. You can then, like, combo right after it. Um, but they're, if they're not against the wall, then this is what it will actually end up looking like. And it will pretty much just send them flying. Um, but yeah, as you guys see, the character keeps going until the actual projectile is done. It won't just stop like most other projectiles. So that's why it's really good against the wall, because you can pretty much just do this. And then start combo sending right after. Um, the one move is pretty decent, though. And then here's going to be the second move. It's a charge move, which looks like this. So you just charge, boom, you hit them, boom. And then you can do like the one move right after, I believe. And that combo extends. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're in a big map because obviously, you know, that sent him flying way over there. Um, but yeah, once again, here's going to be the second move. I believe this does guard break as well. Yeah, as you can see, it does guard break. Um, and then you just have to dash through them. But yeah, as I said, they do get sent pretty far. I believe all these moves do have a lot of knockback. Um, the third move is going to be another rush move, which looks like this. So you knock them down, and then you actually will TP them. And you can combo extend right after this, but you kind of have to be ready for it. I'll show you guys that move one more time. So it does run over the opponent a few times. Um, I don't really recommend doing that. I kind of just wait for the actual like TP move like this. And then, yeah, as you guys see, once again, you can just do your normal M1 combo into like the one move. It's really good for wall combos. Um, but yeah, here's going to be the last move. I don't know if this guard breaks, so I'll just do it over here. Um, but here's going to be the last move. It's very high AoE. It's just like this. As you guys see. It does guard break and does things. Oh no, it does not guard break. Does guard break? Well, I hit the purple block, so I'm assuming guard breaks. Um, but yeah, once again, very strong move. It's a very, very good character. But it will take a lot of mastery. And once when you are done with the mode, you unfortunately do turn into this little kid. Which does only have base M1s. Um, which, you know. <laughs> if you're really good with base M1s. Then I'd recommend using this character. Um, you can definitely take like two stocks just off the awakening itself. Um, but yeah, you do end up inside this little kid form when you are done. 
um, and don't have any moves. I don't know if they plan on uh, revamping this to where the little kid form does have moves. Um, but that is pretty much the full showcase. Basically, all that you guys need to know is that you really want to play for, um, you know, parries. Because the parries in base do projectile parry as well. Um, and it does TP you to the opponent, which is very, very strong. You guys can eat um, projectiles with the other Sero move. Um, and then keep in mind, when you are using the Sero move, after you eat something, you do have to use for a den to actually use the Sero. Um, but it is a very, very strong character. Maybe one of the better ones of the update. I don't know how good it will be in ranked, but I know in publics, um, a lot of people are complaining about it being super broken. Um, keep in mind, all these showcases that I am making, a lot of these characters could be nerfed in the future. Um, if they are, then I'll just say what their ner nerfs are inside the comments down below. Um, but yeah, as I was saying at the very beginning, join my Discord and all that because I will be live streaming tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, let me down your thoughts on this character and other characters inside this update. Who you guys think the newest character that is the strongest and just things like that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.